Nonylphenols, from the Latin nonus number nine and phenol, are a family of closely related organic compounds composed of phenol bearing a nine carbon tail. Nonylphenols can come in numerous structures, all of which may be considered alkylphenols. They are used in manufacturing antioxidants, lubricating oil additives, laundry and dish detergents, emulsifiers, and solubilizers. These compounds are also precursors to the commercially important non-ionic surfactants alkylphenol ethoxylates and nonylphenol ethoxylates, which are used in detergents, paints, pesticides, personal care products, and plastics. Nonylphenol has attracted attention due to its prevalence in the environment and its potential role as an endocrine disruptor and xenoestrogen, due to its ability to act with estrogen-like activity. The estrogenicity and biodegradation heavily depends on the branching of the nonyl sidechain. Nonylphenol has been found to act as an agonist of the GPER GPR30. Topic: <laughs> Structure and basic properties. Nonylphenols fall into the general chemical category of alkylphenols. The structure of NPs may vary. The nonyl group can be attached to the phenol ring at various locations, usually the 4 and, to lesser extent, the 2 positions, and can be either branched or linear. A branched nonylphenol, 4-nonylphenol, is the most widely produced and marketed nonylphenol. The mixture of nonylphenol isomers is a pale yellow liquid, although the pure compounds are colorless. The nonylphenols are moderately soluble in water but soluble in alcohol. Nonylphenol arises from the environmental degradation of nonylphenol ethoxylates, which are the metabolites of commercial detergents called alkylphenol ethoxylates. NPEs are a clear to light orange color liquid. Nonylphenol ethoxylates are non-ionic in water, which means that they have no charge. Because of this property they are used as detergents, cleaners, emulsifiers, and a variety of other applications. They are amphipathic, meaning they have both hydrophilic and hydrophobic properties, which allows them to surround nonpolar substances like oil and grease, isolating them from water. Production Nonylphenol can be produced industrially, naturally, and by the environmental degradation of alkylphenol ethoxylates. Industrially, nonylphenols are produced by the acid-catalyzed alkylation of phenol with a mixture of nonines. This synthesis leads to a very complex mixture with diverse nonylphenols. Theoretically there are 211 constitutional isomers and this number rise to 550 isomers if we take the enantiomers into account. To make NPEs, manufacturers treat NP with ethylene oxide under basic conditions. Since its discovery in 1940, nonylphenol production has increased exponentially, and between 100 and 500 million pounds of nonylphenol are produced globally every year, meeting the definition of high production volume chemicals. Nonylphenols are also produced naturally in the environment. One organism, the velvet worm, produces nonylphenol as a component of its defensive slime. The nonylphenol coats the ejection channel of the slime, stopping it from sticking to the organism when it is secreted. It also prolongs the drying process long enough for the slime to reach its target. Another surfactant called nanoxanol, which was once used as intravaginal spermicide and condom lubricant, was found to metabolize into free nonylphenol when administered to lab animals. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applications. Nonylphenol is used in manufacturing antioxidants, lubricating oil additives, laundry and dish detergents, emulsifiers, and solubilizers. It can also be used to produce tris phosphite TNPP, which is an antioxidant used to protect polymers, such as rubber, vinyl polymers, polyolefins, and polystyrenics in addition to being a stabilizer in plastic food packaging. Barium and calcium salts of nonylphenol are also used as heat stabilizers for polyvinyl chloride PVC. Nonylphenol is also often used an intermediate in the manufacture of the non-ionic surfactants nonylphenol exthoxylates, which are used in detergents, paints, pesticides, personal care products, and plastics. Nonylphenol and nonylphenol ethoxylates are only used as components of household detergents outside of Europe. Nonylphenol, is used in many epoxy formulations mainly in North America. Prevalence in the environment 
Nonylphenol persists in aquatic environments and is moderately bioaccumulative. It is not readily biodegradable, and it can take months or longer to degrade in surface waters, soils, and sediments. Nonbiological degradation is negligible. Many products that contain nonylphenol have down the drain applications, such as laundry and dish soap, so the contaminants are frequently introduced into the water supply. In sewage treatment plants, nonylphenol ethoxylate degrades into nonylphenol, which is found in river water and sediments as well as soil and groundwater. Nonylphenol photodegrades in sunlight, but its half-life in sediment is estimated to be more than 60 years. Although the concentration of nonylphenol in the environment is decreasing, it is still found at concentrations of 4.1 micrograms per liter in river waters and 1 milligram per kilogram in sediments. A major concern is that contaminated sewage sludge is frequently recycled onto agricultural land. The degradation of nonylphenol in soil depends on oxygen availability and other components in the soil. Mobility of nonylphenol in soil is low, bioaccumulation is significant in water-dwelling organisms and birds, and nonylphenol has been found in internal organs of certain animals at concentrations of 10 to 1,000 times greater than the surrounding environment. Due to this bioaccumulation and persistence of nonylphenol, it has been suggested that nonylphenol could be transported over long distances and have a global reach that stretches far from the site of contamination. Nonylphenol is not persistent in air, as it is rapidly degraded by hydroxyl radicals. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental hazards. Nonylphenol is considered to be an endocrine disruptor due to its ability to mimic estrogen and in turn disrupt the natural balance of hormones in affected organisms. The effect is weak because nonylphenols are not very close structural mimics of estradiol, but the levels of nonylphenol can be sufficiently high to compensate. The effects of nonylphenol in the environment are most applicable to aquatic species. Nonylphenol can cause endocrine disruption in fish by interacting with estrogen receptors and androgen receptors. Studies report that nonylphenol competitively displaces estrogen from its receptor site in rainbow trout. It has a stronger affinity to the E2 receptor than estrogen. Nonylphenol causes the feminization of aquatic organisms, decreases male fertility, and decreases survival in young fish. Studies show that male fish exposed to nonylphenol have lower testicular weight. Nonylphenol can disrupt steroidogenesis in the liver. One function of endogenous estrogen in fish is to stimulate the liver to make vitelogenin, which is a phospholipoprotein. Vitelogenin is released by the maturing female and sequestered by developing oocytes to produce the egg yolk. Males do not normally produce vitelogenin, but when exposed to nonylphenol they produce similar levels of vitelogenin to females. The concentration needed to induce vitelogenin production in fish is 10 UG, L for NP in water. Nonylphenol can also interfere with the level of FSH follicle-stimulating hormone being released from the pituitary gland. Concentrations of NP that inhibit reproductive development and function in fish also damages kidneys, decreases body weight, and induces stress behavior. Human health hazards Alkylphenols like nonylphenol and bisphenol A have estrogenic effects in the body. They are known as xenoestrogens. Estrogenic substances and other endocrine disruptors are compounds that have hormone-like effects in both wildlife and humans. Xenoestrogens usually function by binding to estrogen receptors and acting competitively against natural estrogens. Nonylphenol has been shown to mimic the natural hormone 17 beta estradiol, and it competes with the endogenous hormone for binding with the estrogen receptors ER alpha and ER beta. Nonylphenol was discovered to have hormone like effects by accident because it contaminated other experiments in laboratories that were studying natural estrogens that were using polystyrene tubes. <laughs> effects in pregnant women Subcutaneous injections of nonylphenol in late pregnancy causes the expression of certain placental and uterine proteins, namely CABP9K, which suggest it can be transferred through the placenta to the fetus. It has also been shown to have a higher potency on the first trimester placenta than the endogenous estrogen 17-beta estradiol. 
In addition, early prenatal exposure to low doses of nonylphenol cause an increase in apoptosis programmed cell death in placental cells. These low doses ranged from 10-13 to 10-9 m, which is lower than what is generally found in the environment. Nonylphenol has also been shown to affect cytokine signaling molecule secretions in the human placenta. In vitro cell cultures of human placenta during the first trimester were treated with nonylphenol, which increased the secretion of cytokines including interferon gamma, interleukin-4, and interleukin-10, and reduced the secretion of tumor necrosis factor alpha. This unbalanced cytokine profile at this part of pregnancy has been documented to result in implantation failure, pregnancy loss, and other complications. Effects on metabolism Nonylphenol has been shown to act as an obesity-enhancing chemical or obesogen, though it has paradoxically been shown to have anti-obesity properties. Growing embryos and newborns are particularly vulnerable when exposed to nonylphenol because low doses can disrupt sensitive processes that occur during these important developmental periods. Prenatal and perinatal exposure to nonylphenol has been linked with developmental abnormalities in adipose tissue and therefore in metabolic hormone synthesis and release Merrill 2011. Specifically, by acting as an estrogen mimic, nonylphenol has generally been shown to interfere with hypothalamic appetite control. The hypothalamus responds to the hormone leptin, which signals the feeling of fullness after eating, and nonylphenol has been shown to both increase and decrease eating behavior by interfering with leptin signaling in the midbrain. Nonylphenol has been shown mimic the action of leptin on neuropeptide Y and anorectic POMC neurons, which has an anti-obesity effect by decreasing eating behavior. This was seen when estrogen or estrogen mimics were injected into the ventromedial hypothalamus. On the other hand, nonylphenol has been shown to increase food intake and have obesity-enhancing properties by lowering the expression of these anorexigenic neurons in the brain. Additionally, nonylphenol affects the expression of ghrelin, an enzyme produced by the stomach that stimulates appetite. Ghrelin expression is positively regulated by estrogen signaling in the stomach, and it is also important in guiding the differentiation of stem cells into adipocytes fat cells. Thus, acting as an estrogen mimic, prenatal and perinatal exposure to nonylphenol has been shown to increase appetite and encourage the body to store fat later in life. Finally, long-term exposure to nonylphenol has been shown to affect insulin signaling in the liver of adult male rats. Cancer <coughs> 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 Nonylphenol exposure has also been associated with breast cancer. It has been shown to promote the proliferation of breast cancer cells, due to its agonistic activity on ER-alpha in estrogen-dependent and estrogen-independent breast cancer cells. Some argue that nonylphenol's suggested estrogenic effect coupled with its widespread human exposure could potentially influence hormone-dependent breast cancer disease. Human exposure and breakdown Exposure Diet seems the most significant source of exposure of nonylphenol to humans. For example, food samples were found with concentrations ranging from 0.1 to 19.4 micrograms per kilogram in a diet survey in Germany and a daily intake for an adult were calculated to be 7.5 micrograms per day. Another study calculated a daily intake for the more exposed group of infants in the range of 0.23 to 0.65 micrograms, kilogram body weight, day. In Taiwan, nonylphenol concentrations in food ranged from 5.8 to 235.8 micrograms per kilogram. Seafood in particular was found to have a high concentration of nonylphenol. One study conducted in Italian women showed that nonylphenol was one of the highest contaminants at a concentration of 32 nanograms per milliliter in breast milk when compared to other alkyl phenols, such as octylphenol, nonylphenol monoethoxylate, and 2 octylphenol ethoxylates. The study also found a positive correlation between fish consumption and the concentration of nonylphenol in breast milk. This is a large problem because breast milk is the main source of nourishment for newborns, who are in early stages of development where hormones are very influential. 
Elevated levels of endocrine disruptors in breast milk have been associated with negative effects on neurological development, growth, and memory function. Drinking water does not represent a significant source of exposure in comparison to other sources such as food packing materials, cleaning products, and various skin care products. Concentrations of nonylphenol in treated drinking water varied from 85 nanograms per liter in Spain to 15 nanograms per liter in Germany. Microgram amounts of nonylphenol have also been found in the saliva of patients with dental sealants. Breakdown When humans orally ingest nonylphenol, it is rapidly absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. The metabolic pathways involved in its degradation are thought to involve glucuronide and sulfate conjugation, and the metabolites are then concentrated in fat. There is inconsistent data on bioaccumulation in humans, but nonylphenol has been shown to bioaccumulate in water-dwelling animals and birds. Nonylphenol is excreted in feces and in urine. Topic: Analytics. Since nonylphenols are ubiquitous in different environmentally relevant matrices like food, drinking water and human tissue samples, there are many possible analytical methods for their detection. Most common methods are the analysis with GC-MIS. Also a special two-dimensional application with a GCXGCTOF MIS. Nevertheless nonylphenols are also separated via HPLC techniques, as the branching of the nonyl sidechain plays an important role because of their varying estrogen potential different nonylphenols were synthesized and analyzed on GCMS or GCFID systems. In these studies the scope was also on the enantioselective separation of different nonylphenols since biological systems are usually enantioselective. Regulation The production and use of nonylphenol and nonifenol ethoxylates is prohibited in the European Union due to its effects on health and the environment. In Europe, due to environmental concerns, they also have been replaced by more expensive alcohol ethoxylates, which are less problematic for the environment due to their ability to degrade more quickly than nonylphenols. The European Union has also included NP on the list of priority hazardous substances for surface water in the Water Framework Directive. They are now implementing a drastic reduction policy of NPs in surface waterways. The environmental quality standard for NP was proposed to be 0.3 UG, L. In 2013 nonylphenols were registered on the REACH candidate list. In the USA, the EPA set criteria which recommends that nonylphenol concentration should not exceed 6.6 UG, L in fresh water and 1.7 UG, L in saltwater. In order to do so, the EPA is supporting and encouraging a voluntary phase out of nonylphenol in industrial laundry detergents. Similarly, the EPA is documenting proposals for a significant new use. Rule, which would require companies to contact the EPA if they decided to add nonylphenol to any new cleaning and detergent products. They also plan to do more risk assessments to ascertain the effects of nonylphenol on human health and the environment. It was suggested that nonylphenol could be added to the list of chemicals on the Toxic Substances Control Act of 1976, but this has yet to occur as of 2014. In other Asian and South American countries nonylphenol is still widely available in commercial detergents, and there is little regulation. 